Phil, the Gift Heath, 2013, perhaps the best version of him. And Hattie Shupin, 2024, Arnold Classic, come on, get to the chapa. Perhaps his best version. Who's better, the best version of Phil or the best version of Hattie Shupin? This is a fan request from you guys, the viewers. You guys wanted to see Phil Heath versus Hattie Shupin of these specific years, 2013, 2024. I've done many comparisons with these two dudes. These guys have competed at the Olympia together, 2020, and they have aspects about one another that the other guy just can't compete with. And it makes it the old-fashioned apples versus oranges matchup. Look at the arms, for instance. I mean, come on. If they were wearing tank tops, Phil would make Hattie Shupin look like Tinkerbell. But on the contrary, the physiques, the torso heaps, the chest width, things of that nature, Hattie Shupin is making Phil Heath look like an amateur. Here is the first shot, front double bicep pose. And of course, the biceps, triceps of Phil, they're going to give him an edge in this one. I think ultimately... He would get the front double. He might have been better off using 2011. Not as big, but he had a better midsection. And when you're dealing with Hattie Shupin, you're going to need a good midsection. Or he is going to make you look, well, you know, double, triple, trouble. But there's no real triple trouble here. Phil Heath, obviously, not known for a trim midsection. But it's not totally out of whack here, I don't think. But Hattie, he just has a way. And I noticed this at the Arnold Classic. He has a way of making his opponent look like they have a soft midsection. And poor Samson. I mean, not the best opponent for him. Now, Phil, is he winning on the wheels or is he losing? Hattie Shupin has the most strided quads that I've ever seen. They look like you could take a ball bat to them and the ball bat would break. Even aluminum. But Phil's winning in the calves. So the balance is better. Here's the front lat spread. Phil Heath has that three-dimensional thickness. But with a, a clavicle that narrow, I guess it, it kind of needs to be three-dimensional. But you can see it all over the place. Look at the arms. Even, even his lats. Even his lats. Not bad. And maybe even the midsection as well. With all due respect. Hey, I love Phil Heath. He's a cool dude. He is. He's a cool dude. And lately, or lately, he's been even cooler. He's been even cooler. So keep up the the coolness, Phil. We're rooting for you. Rooting tootin' Tuesday. But, uh, yeah, Hattie has that clavicle width. So it is basically thick raw muscle versus a good silhouette clavicle. Turn to the side here. And I can hear you guys now. But Mark's Max Muscle, you have missized this one. Um, Phil is taller than Hattie Shupin. But I have pictures of these guys standing close to each other anyway at the Olympia. And Phil, he sits so low in this one. Not as low as Big Ramrod, though. Rammy sits even lower. But you can see the size of the legs. When he does that, it makes his quad look huge. It makes his hamstring hang. And it basically puts Hattie Shupin, not to shame, not to shame. But having said that, realistically, I could have made Phil even smaller in this one. Because he is bending at the knees quite substantially. But look at how thick. When you take the, uh, the clavicle width out of the equation, Phil is so, so thick. Like rich creamery butter. But all jokes aside, Phil wins the side chest and most certainly, I would say, wins the side tricep as well. But we don't have a picture of Hattie. Go right into the back. And it looks like Hattie may be outgunned considering he was losing from the side and perhaps the back as well. He's wide. He's good and wide. Look at the uh, pictures from the 2020 Olympia even. Phil was a little bit smaller. But still, Hattie made him look like, made him look like Tinkerbell. 
Even from the rear here, you can see the triceps. Look at the arms. Look at them arms. And the glutes. Both of these guys, very conditioned. Phil would have an edge in muscle separation. Glutes, hamstrings, things of that nature. And most certainly the back. The three-dimensional muscle really, I mean, he really earns his name. The, three di the 3D name from the back shots. But I would not say that he's more conditioned. You need to really watch the video footage to get a glimpse of how it would be if you were where Arnold is, you know, live on front row stage. You can see every pose. But having said that, I think, Phil, the lack of width here, which he's, he's not the widest bus in the garage, and I think Hattie Schupin may be the widest. He's not the sh tallest guy. Pretty short, but I mean, the guy's so wide. Back double by. Hattie, you know, he holds his own in the back itself. Keep in mind, he's a smaller dude. Doesn't need the size of Phil in his back. The lats themselves, almost as big. But I would guesstimate, not as thick. Like I said, that butter. Just thick. And calves, or uh, calves, obviously. Phil winning in the calves. Traps. I mean, Hattie has some traps, but Phil also does, and in the arms, when you throw the arms in the equation. Night, night. All she wrote. So, Phil arguably, arguably, losing two front shots. Winning the two side, and in my opinion, winning both back shots. But for you purists, physique purists, like a physique, like the old days, Steve Reeves. A shot like this is so exposing to Phil Heath and exposes Hattie Schupin's greatness. Like I said time and time again, he has skin just like thin glaciers, just like glass. No thinner than glass. It's like onion skin. And then you peel that, you peel the little little skin off the onion. And those abs, the separation, that is truly a thing of beauty. Just like Mickey said, Rocky Three. That's the best one, Rocky Three. If you want to watch a Rocky movie, that's my preference for sure. So at the end of the day, yeah, yeah, it, it is close. And the funny thing is, you look at the arms and Phil... He wins this one, hands down. No question. No ifs, ands, or buts. But then take a look at the torso. The chest width, the abs, the abs themselves. Hattie Schupin making Phil look silly. Look silly. And like I said, the lag's kind of a toss-up where Hattie, he's more peeled. He's more separated. Look at that. Huh? But then Phil, he has big, good big quads, and he has the calves. So at the end of the day, I guess Phil wins by attrition. He wins by winning more shots. I think he, I was giving him probably the front double. It was close, though, midsection. I don't know. But both back, both side. And maybe the most muscular toss up here. But Hattie, Hattie gave him a run for his money. Hattie Schupin in his prime. That's right now. And a prime time Hattie Schupin is nothing to fool around with. Probably will win the Olympia this year, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Have a great one, guys. Well, what are you doing? How about subscribing to my channel, please? And if you're bored, if you're in the mood, you can check out my latest video. It is a good one. And there's a whole bunch of videos in this playlist all stacked together. So, you know, you can watch every pose. Another one over here too. One, two, three, diddly dee.